All right. Shalom, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, call her lawyer, Makabad al Yahweh by Shem Shai, which translates all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Sa in, in the name of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, by Shem Hakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to my apostles, my elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. And love and honor to my fellow Akim, push the word and truth, faith, and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom to you, sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and Dr. and Great Millstone. Here's the brother you die from a team Mexican land church coming with another spiritual in transit. And um, it's going to be entitled to the spirit, build endurance. To endure, you know, um, and and endurance, endurance, the the core word, the core root of endurance is to endure, you know, and and, and of course, um, you know, once you come into the truth and you and you've been uh, in the ministry for X amount of time and you realize that, uh, you know, a, a lot of us. Um, coming across the truth and, you know, really being able to discern the times that we're in and that the times that we're in are evil. A lot of us, uh, you know, came in with the expectation that the Lord was coming, like, now. <laughs> you know, and of course, not not literally now, but you know the spirit is on you so heavy to recognize the the times the, the seasons that we're in that um you know some of us may have miscalculated you know the return of our Lord in which Yahweh Shai even said no man no man knows okay um you know when when the return of the Messiah or the Lord is going to be. Except the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So um, that's according to biblical prophecy. But you know, us being in the flesh, and really, it's the through the magnification of you know fear that um, you know that we understand that we have a short time in order to get right. That you just felt like, man, the the Lord could come at any moment, in which He can't come at any moment. You know, once you know certain prophecies are uh, are fulfilled, you know, including um, uh, the implementation of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, including uh, uh, World War Three, um, America being attacked by uh, 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 various other countries during World War Three. Okay, the, the downfall uh, and decline of the economy, um, you know, famine and, and pestilences and, or diseases and, you know, uh, social and racial uh, race wars, martial law, you know, at the fulfillment of, you know, the fullness of the fulfillment of the prophecies, yeah, the Lord can and will return at any second. That's why even Yahweh Shah spoke about him coming as a thief in the night because there's going to be so many things that are just plain, plain to those who can see that it's a fulfillment of prophecy, man, you know. But, you know, like I said, one thing that we all must actively work to develop is endurance because in order to endure, you have to have endurance. You know, and sometimes, you know, we can get in the habit of reading over certain words and certain characteristics that are very, very important, such as prayer, such as reading, such as uh, uh, fasting, you know, <clears throat> such as uh, uh, abstaining from, from evil and uh, being superfluous. You know, there, there's, there's things that, and there's characteristics that, you know, because we've heard repetitiously that it's like oh yeah yeah you know I don't do that or I, I do do this 
but it's, it's, you know, like we speak about from time to time, it's, there's levels to this thing, man. There's there's levels to endurance. Even, um, you know, you think about certain athletic athletic uh, events, like say for track, you know, you have to have the, the longer the longer the race, the more endurance you have to have. But you have to have endurance in, in every, you know, event. But when it's a long race, you got to have a lot of endurance, man. You know, and think about, and I was thinking about this morning when I woke up, think about it, endurance is endurance. You don't just have endurance. You know, like some people are, 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 are naturally strong. You know, they just born stronger than others. You know, in a little bit of work, you know, they just become, you know, super strong. You know, some people are, um, you know, just naturally more intelligent. They can just, con- they, they get and understand concepts easier than most, and they can retain that information, you know, easier with less effort. Or they have the capacity to, um, you know, to, to be very studious, you know what I'm saying? And that information, like I said, they're able to retain it. Some other people might have to <clears throat> go over certain things over and over again in order to, um, you know, grasp the fullness of it. But the thing about endurance is you have to actually work and labor to have endurance. You don't, you're not just born with endurance, you know. It, you know, there may be certain people in certain, like, body types of spirits that are naturally that are naturally geared to acquiring endurance faster, but for you to actually for you to run a mile or two miles or a marathon, you gotta work at that. You ain't gonna just wake up one day and be like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna run a marathon and crush it. Like, nah, you have to actually work and labor. You have to you have to build you have to build endurance. You gotta build endurance. So um you know, even in this faith, even in this in this walk, we have to uh, we have to build endurance in order to endure. So, um, get this real quick. This is Matthew ten. We read verses twenty one and twenty two. Um, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents. Yeah, it's the wrong time. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. See, even with this, this situation that um, this prophecy is being brought out, in which certain men are going to be delivered up, certain men, women, and children are going to be delivered up by their own, uh, their own families and those that are, uh, by their own families and those that are supposedly close to them, you know, and even with us, you have to, you're going to have to endure that, man, you know, there might be friends and family or even, you know, men in the truth that you've worked and labor with who rat you out, man, okay? And yeah, some will get put to death, but we're also in a time of season that when these things come to pass, it's gonna be a time of great salvation in which Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah may allow you to, may allow you to be delivered up in the end to save you, you know, through your through your faith, okay, by grace, and also through your endurance, by your lack your 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 strength to say, you know what? Whatever the hill, whatever the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, whatever he, you know, um, wants to be done, let his will be done, man. You know. And and uh, that's you know that's even in the uh, the Lord's prayer, man. The uh, I don't want to pull out. You know, there's various times that, you know, you're asking the Lord, you know, the, the Lord's will be done, um, on, be it done on, on earth as it is in heaven, okay? To the Heavenly Father be the power and the glory, 
in the kingdom forever and ever. You know, this all goes hand in hand, man. It's it's all connected, man. You know, and uh, every this there's the point. Matthew ten and twenty two, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. See, we shall be hated of all men. For you have by Shemhashah's namesake, you know, this goes into the wicked, whether it be the, the heathens or the wicked two-thirds or the wicked, like I said, even men that you labor with in the, in the, um, in the truth. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. And, and that's why, that's why I said, you know, we have to build endurance in order to endure Endurance, like I said, is a characteristic that must be built. Endurance is built over time. Endurance is built um, through situations. Endurance is built by you doing shit you don't want to necessarily do. By you taking care of a situation that you don't really want to do for real. But you understand that it must be done. You know? Endurance, you know, like I said, endurance is built up over time. And also there's various levels to endurance, you know. And there's also different, there's also different places in which you can endure, you know. You can endure, you know, your job. You can endure, you know, demons uh, attacking you. You can endure demons attacking your, your family, you know. You can endure... uh you know, reading. You might be, you know, tired, super tired. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some reading. And you might fall asleep, wake back up, and read some more. That's all. That's all forms and fashion of endurance. But it's vitally important that we build up this muscle to endure, of endurance to uh, endurance to the end, man. How are you gonna? You can't. You and like I said, it's a trait. It's a characteristic that must be built. You don't just. You don't. It, it ain't just natural. You know, like I said, you may be, you know, uh, it might come to you easier just by your spirit. You know what I'm saying? It might be a trait or a characteristic or a talent that is easier for you to, to acquire, you know, acquire and grow in. But it's it's an exercise. It's a, it's a characteristic that must be exercised. It don't just happen, man, you know. So I just wanted to put that out there. I it was on my spirit. I hope and pray that this lesson was edified. Once again, call Hawaiian Wakabad Al Yahweh by Shemahu Shai. All praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai. By Shem Chakwadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to you. I can push the word in truth, faith, and security across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom Wakabad.